Hello everyone, let's start with the makeup. I've already cleansed and moisturized my skin and used a primer that is from Inside Cosmetics. Now to cover the dark areas, I'll be using an orange corrector, taking a very little quantity with the help of my fingers and dabbing it around the problematic areas like my dark circles around my mouth and also on the pimple marks. Remember not to take the product in excess so that it doesn't crease. Blend this very well with the help of your fingers so that the product gets distributed evenly. Now to cut the orange corrector, we're going to use a concealer which is a true match to my skin tone and going to tap it on top of all the orange color or the corrector that we have used. Now this process helps to reduce the appearance of orange color after the application of foundation. Now to blend everything in place and take out the excess, I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and very gently gonna dab it and spread the product wherever we have applied it. You can do this process with the help of a brush as well. Now to set everything at place, I've used a white loose powder and with the help of a powder puff, applying it in the areas where we have corrected and concealed. And you can take the excess product out with the help of a brush using a Maybelline Fit Me foundation which is a true match to my skin tone. Taking very little quantity and in dotted motions, I'm going to spread it around my face and the neck area. Don't forget your ears and neck while doing so. And we're going to blend it with the same beauty blender that we used for the concealer. And in dabbing motions, we're going to spread it evenly all around the face and the neck. You can even use a kabuki brush for the same. Now, for concealing or highlighting the high points, I'm going to use a very lighter shade of concealer which is 3 to 4 shades lighter to my skin tone and I'm going to apply it around. Also going to contour my face with the help of a contour stick like so, like contouring for the nose, on the cheek and the chin and also the lips. This gives a good dimension or fullness to the lips. Now, to blend everything at place, we're going to start by dabbing or blending the lighter shade first, which is the concealer. And later on, we're going to blend the corrector. Always do the same when you're using multiple products at a time on your face. Start with a lighter shade and end to a darker shade. We're going to set our base, especially the concealed part, so that it doesn't crease with the help of a loose banana powder and applying it at all the high points where we conceal with the help of a powder puff. You can even use a loose white powder, but that doesn't give much coverage. Now, towards the blush, I've used a pinkish orange color and with the help of a brush, taking out the product and tapping off the excess, now applying it on the high points. I've used a little bit of quantity even on the chin area. Now setting everything at place with the help of a beauty blender and a setting mist. Now, first start with a very lighter shade which we call as a transition shade. A transition color is something that separates the eyebrow area and the eyeshadow area. So you need to create a boundary and for that I have taken an orange color. Now since I have worn a dress which has purple and golden shade, almost one or three third part, three fourth part of my eyes I'll be covering with this purple shade. You need to take the color gradually. I'm taking it from the outer corner and blending it towards the inner corner, leaving one fourth inner part of my eyelid. Now you don't have to take all the color at once. Instead, take the color little by little and you can take as much depth as you want as you can see now with a clean brush you need to blend the blue and the transition shade so that there are no harsh edges now towards the inner corner i have used a cut crease with the help of a lighter yellow color concealer you can take any lighter concealer this is simply to pop the color that i'll be applying at the inner corner here i have applied a pressed glitter which is golden in shade you can take any lighter shade of pressed glitter or lighter color as the inner corner or as part of inner corner now with the help of a gel liner i have created a wink and towards the waterline i have used a blue color or a purple color pen liner now lower to the waterline i have used a gel color or a gel eyeliner and i'm smudging it with the help of the transition or the orange color that we used on the eyelid 
Now this is how you need to do the smudging. Now on top of the gel liner or the wing, I am using a watercolor or water liner so that the gel liner gets completely locked. Now just to add a pop of color. Now that's how you can create a dramatic eye makeup with any color that you want and in an easiest way as shown. Now I'll be filling my eyebrows. Here I've used a spoolie brushing my eyebrow hairs upwards and downwards and filling up the sparse areas. Now that's how you need to fill. You don't have to draw it if you already have a thick eyebrow. Even if you have a little bit of hair or very sparse hairs, you don't have to draw it dramatically. Instead, just fill the sparse areas. Now highlight. Now for the lips, I have taken a brown shaded lip liner and applying it all around the borders of lip and creating a fullness and filling it with a bronze liquid lipstick setting everything at place with the help of a setting mist. now that's it for the makeup i'm also going to show you how i created this hairstyle so just wait and watch I hope this video was helpful to you. Now, if you want to recreate this look, you are always free to go back to the video once or twice, go through the details and you can recreate it and share your pics with me on my Instagram ID that I'll be mentioning in the description box. Also, if you like my video, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Also, if you want to learn the makeup directly from me, you can always feel free to DM on the Instagram ID that I'll be mentioning in the description.